Hello everyone. I just wanted to make a quick review of this 35 quart Ozark Trail cooler I got at Walmart. Now, this thing looked pretty sweet. My old cooler is about 15 years old. It's it's really just not presentable anymore. It's just like stained in dirt. So I figured, why not? You know, it's a hundred bucks. It's it's not particularly cheap, but this thing sure looks sweet. I mean, look at it. It's, it's an awesome design. It's lightweight. Has a place to put a lock. Has these nice hinges. Measuring tape at the top for fish or anything like that if you're boating. It just seemed awesome. And overall, it is pretty cool. It comes with a light, so when you open this, there is an actual light that lights right up. So it turns off and turns on and off, which is really cool for a cooler. It has another kind of separate tray compartment here. And overall, its design is just, it's great. But the first morning after filling it up, I noticed there was a puddle under it. I know I tightened the cap, but I guess reading what other reviewers have said, I'm not the only one to have this. So you really need to, the, the, the cap is fairly faulty. You can't really rely on the fact that it will not leak. So even if you tighten it in very hard, which is more than you really should be doing, it still leaks slowly. There's nothing really to kind of prevent it from doing that. And th this is something to really to be aware of because if you're going to have this in your car or you're going to obviously have it indoors or just anywhere you don't want it to leak water, this is not something you, re can, you can rely the cooler will not do. And that's, that's kind of a shame. The other thing, which obviously the most important thing of what a cooler is, is ice and how well it keeps cold. And it does not keep cold long at all. For example, last night I didn't open the cooler much at all during the rest of the e like during the evening. I filled it up to the top of the ice, and about six hours later, this is what it looks like. It's, it doesn't hold ice at all. Seriously, it, my 15-year-old cooler works two to three times better than this. It's, it's literally been eight hours, and most of the ice is gone. So this is completely ridiculous. I mean, I should pretty much open this cooler right now, and the ice should be at the very top, as if I left it last night, maybe slightly, slightly lower. And that's it. I also emptied out all the water and made sure it was... Prepped, packed, all to the top, and this is what happened. This is, it's really not acceptable for, I got this cool cooler, it's its awesome, I know it looks great. It's a hundred bucks, it's not particularly cheap, you can get those huge giant coolers for a hundred bucks. Obviously they're not as fancy, but I'm just a little disappointed. I would think that this awesome product, which like it really just is, it has everything you'd want. It has handles, it's easy to carry, it has a nice lid, it's stylish, but who needs a cooler that gets warm quickly? And I, I'm just here in a backyard. I'm not taking this far out. So I'm going to have to get more ice for this literally eight hours after putting ice into it. And I had ice in it before as well, so I didn't just heat it up. This isn't, I didn't just put in ice, wait for things to heat up and have it melt. There's been ice in it for about two days straight, so it's been cold this entire time. So the fact that it has had time to get this cold and then just over eight hours to lose this much ice, it's completely unacceptable. I hope this review helps someone else and it's truly a shame if you have a different experience or you have another cooler for this price range to recommend, let me know. But really, it's just, it's just a disappointment because I, I like I like everything about the product and the, the fact that it has that light. The light can even be removed to use as a flashlight and the flashlight is actually three different modes. So it has the front light, the lantern, or both. So that's a that's a nice design. That's neat. I like that. And that's it.